Hi everybody, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity. And today I'm in beautiful Funkstown, Maryland, behind my Funkworks lab. And I'm gonna show you how to do a no splice install of the new Soft Start RV controller. And you can see this one is about one third smaller than the original size. So it makes it a little easier to mount. Let me show you what you're gonna need first. You go to Soft Start RV and you'll see on a section on there where you can download all the various schematics for this to show you how this hooks up. So once you've got that in place, then we're ready to begin. Okay, so next what we're gonna to wanna to do is router wiring in through one of the holes, which I've already done. Make sure it doesn't pinch on anything. We're gonna go ahead and peel off this little plastic uh, cover on the back and expose our glued surface. And you can see this actually could fit in pretty darn easily on many of these. Now I'm gonna add some additional screws through later um, and I'll show you some cable management tricks in a future video. But right now, that's all there is to this. Keep it out of the airflow, keep it out of the way, keep your cable so they don't get into trouble. Um, and now we're on to the next part of this. So you can see on the schematic, one of the things we're gonna do is over in this little relay, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this blue wire, like so. And you should already have a matching connector here that you can use and plug that in. Okay, blue wire is done. Okay, so next, over where we had removed the blue wire, the schematic says we're going to connect the red wire from the soft start RV unit. Should already have the right kind of connector on there. We hook the red wire onto that relay. So they're all set. We pulled out the blue wire from there. We hooked the red wire on there. We're already two wires done. Next, you'll see on the schematic what we're gonna do with the yellow wire. So if you look down here, you can see there is already a red wire that was going on to the Herm terminal, Hermetic terminal on the capacitor, and there should be a spare place in the back. So we're gonna take this guy, and we are just going to connect him right back here. Ta-da. So, yellow wire done. We're just going down by colors, right? When we run out of wires, we must be done. Next, I've already just disconnected this, this other red wire off of the Herm terminal that had originally gone down to the um, one little controller unit down here. And it says we're going to connect the black wire to that. So we're taking our black wire and that's connecting down here. So one more to go. And finally, what we're gonna do with the blue wire, it says, it looks like the blue wire is going to connect down here. We pull white wire off of the compressor, right? And that is going to connect right up here. Ta-da, we have all of our wires connected. We are ready to go. It's no more complicated than that. Okay, now, a few safety things. Remember, always unplug everything before you do this. Unplug your inverter, make sure that that's not powering up in any way. Unplug from shore power, you're not connected in any way, no generators running or anything. Also, remember, when you're up on a roof, 13 feet up is a long way to fall. I've never fallen 13 feet, but I fell 12 feet one time, and it was not pretty. So you wanna be very, very careful with that. Make sure you have the correct schematic to, uh, to do the installation. If you don't, you can contact the guys at Soft Start RV. They will in fact show you uh, the correct schematic or they'll draw you a brand new one, whatever you like. And finally, um, once you get this done, test it and enjoy your, your low current operation because guess what? You're gonna love this thing. Okay, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity coming to you from the lovely Funkworks Lab in Funkstown, Maryland. See you soon.